Sean, and welcome to Spell Slingers, the show where I play Magic the Gathering with my nerd friends. And today's said friend is Joshua Ovenshire from Smosh Games. So I'm the Ovenshire. I'm on the Smosh Games website. We got video game shenanigans with the Smosh guys, and I've been playing Magic since like '94, '95 with my dad. Who even brought a special I, identifying I, tag. I, I, I felt like I needed to represent a little bit. Well, you were telling me before we went live that you play a ton of Magic. Oh yeah, me and the other guys. Be unproductive. Yeah, me and the other guys. So we can laser corn. We'll be productive for like a second. And it's like, hey, you, you want to break and play Magic? Yep, 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 yep. And so we'll just sit there for uh, you know, 30 minutes, hour. Two hours. We're going to be playing an M15 set today. Yeah. We have we have the cards, of course, we haven't seen all the way. We have the Roto Susan. What, what do you think this should be called? Uh, I would have with Lazy Susan. They're just sitting there, just looking pretty, not doing anything until I have to make it spin. Would you like to spin, Susan? Oh, I would. What? Oh, I would. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big creature fan. I'm playing red-green right now in my standard deck, and I, and I see that green right there on the wheel. Give it a spin and try to land on red-green, but you have to go around at least okay, once. We'll go all the way around, but all it's right. going to happen. Just I got one spin. Let's make it happen. Give me that green-red deck. Here we go. Come on. Red-green, red-green, red-green. Red-green. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> yes! I am a god at spinning wheels! <laughs> yes! I got my deck. I'm going to win. Now I'm going to spin and find out if I can get, I don't know, let's pick a color pairing at random here, blue-green. Let's see if it happens. Oh, I didn't get blue-green. Uh. No snaps. So I've rolled blue-black, and I'm worried that I'm going to be an asshole. Well, I am not as good of a Roto Susan manipulator as you are. It's all, it's all in the wrist. I mean, blue-black could be a little more about removal and evasion, or I could be just blue. Draw a card, counter spell. Look, I'm gonna scry, and I don't wanna be that. I don't wanna be that guy. Speaking of being all on the wrist, it is now time for us to summon our decks. Well, that's my favorite part. And we're going to do it with the power of wrists. Now, like a frisbee, I want you to hold your hand up like this. I don't know why you need this hand up here. It's all for flair, I guess. Yeah, I know, you wanna make sure that your arm doesn't get in the way. Yeah. All right, ready, set, oh. That's impressive. That's amazing. I, I know I had that in me. What I love about the green red deck is what you get in green is the ramp. So you're building up land really quickly to bring out your big creatures. And in red, you just have these strong monsters that you can drop and just like get through their defense and start doing some damage. It's super aggro. You're doing a lot of damage really quickly. It's like you can't stop it. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. My starting hand's okay. I mean, I have three land and four spells, which always sounds golden, but um, I have two very high mana costing spells. Got my opening hand. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm sitting pretty. I have everything that I need. It looks really good. I'm, I'm pretty confident about it. So, I mean, I'm hoping that eventually I can draw into it, that he won't be too aggressive, but knowing that he's probably going to be doing a ramp deck. I have some mana ramp in there. I got some land in there. I'm just crossing my fingers and keeping. It is a little shy on mountains, but I'm feeling confident. I got a card in there that can get me what I need later on. I'm gonna keep. You're gonna keep? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna commit to this hand. Oh man. It's not the best hand. So are, are you keeping? I'm gonna keep. I'm keeping. Now officially best of luck. Good luck, sir. Now that the potential mulligans are done, so I begin with an island and pass the turn. Very intimidating. Game. Okay, I'm it's on. a strong island. Right. Good island art this year. Draw first. Just art is always, I love the art in these games. Oh, this so is. So good. Not looking great for you. The best first turn for this deck is a forest and an elvish mystic, and I've got it. So I'm already starting perfectly. Because I'm going to put down a forest, and guess what? I actually get to do something. I'm going to tap an my forest, and uh, oh, my Elvish Mystic. I know this card. I I've love my Elvish Mystic. Later on, I can tap him just to add more mana, more forests. He, so, he's a forest impersonator. Yeah, he is. He's, he's, he's the, he goes to Vegas, and he impersonates uh, forests on the side. <laughs> I'm going to assume your turn's done. Yeah, I'm done. done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to play the Rouge's Gloves. I know it's Rogue. Not rouge. It's a rouge. Yeah. Rogue's gloves. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Mm. Good luck to me. That's a fun little card. I eagerly though. look forward to what you're going to be doing with your extra mana, with your elvish mystic. Oh, just wonderful things. First, I'm going to draw my card. Nice. I'm going to tap two forests and add another green mana using my Elvish Mystic for this wonderful artifact. I'm relieved to see him play Brawler's Plate because it's not a huge creature. I don't really have a way to deal with big creatures quite yet, so if he begins to stack them up, I'm gonna completely lose tempo. Oh, so equipment creature gets plus two, plus two, and has trample. But he have to equip it for four. The fact that it's a, uh, an artifact that can't attack me and equipping it is really expensive, I feel like I've gained two turns. 
this turn where he played it, and the next turn when he has to equip it. It's just the trample? Okay, okay, plus two, plus two, and trample. I'm cool with that, mm -hmm. I'm cool with that. You may go. And here I go. You know, I'm, I'm going to play the Witch's Familiar. Witch. It's just a two, three frog. He, he might become a rogue frog soon, a rouge frog. A rouge frog. And I pass the turn to you. So you have a three, two? Yeah, two, three. A two, three. Well, he's got- So it's only deals two damage? No. Cause he can't touch me. Do you have a lightning bolt? Is that what's in your hand? No lightning bolts, but I am going to tap my Elvish Mystic for a force, and my force there for this guy. And it is a Shaman of Spring. Now when he enters the battlefield, I get to draw a card. Unfortunately, he's only a 2-2. Two, two. Yes! So, so far, so good. And drawing my card. Uh, and that is all. I, I can't equip him yet, so go ahead. So I have a couple of options. I can get the Rogue's Gloves on the Frog and attack, and that might cause him to sack his creature. Or if he doesn't, then I can draw a card, but then I probably can't play the card because I only have one mana free. But really, I wanted to go for the simplest, most efficient play. I'm gonna play Divination. That'll let me draw two cards and probably get a land so I can have a better turn five, six, seven, and whatnot. I would like to declare an attack. Okay. I commence the attack. You're taking the attack. Now I could block and lose my character. For nothing. Or perhaps I'll just take the two damage. I like it. I'm gonna let that go through. You, you don't have him equipped yet, so this works for me. Okay, so I am now going to play on my second main phase, Divination. Three mana to say draw two cards. Mm. All right, drawing a card, drawing a card, passing the turn to you. That was nice. Uh, so tapping the four, getting my, my little elf in there again for another force to put down this fellow, uh, the Charging Rhino. So I'm dropping my very first powerhouse card of the game, and it's the Charging Rhino. And it's a 4-4, yeah, that's normal, but he can only be blocked by one creature at a time. So now all I have to do is put my equipment on him to give him trample and plus two, plus two, and all of a sudden, he's a force to be reckoned with. So you're, you're blocked over there, or you're yeah, tapped out. I can't out. defend with my gloves. So... I throw a glove <laughs> at your dryad. I'm gonna attack is for it two. Is it an elf? It's an elf. Shaman of the Spring. Okay, sorry. Oh, the shaman Ranger. there. All right, I, I can do nothing. I accept the damage. I go to 18. whoop -a! All right. Now I'm going to say, yeah, you go ahead. All right. I've, I've been karate chopped with a gift of a turn. Well, I'm going to spend all my mana. I'm going to cast Lingy uses three of that mana, which is a Jorobai Merc Lurker. All right, so he's got life link on the field. He can gain some life. I, I'm not too worried about it. It can be annoying, but it's not a big deal. Well, I was happy to have a Merc Lurker. <laughs> He has plus one, plus one, if I have a swamp, which I do. I have three of them, and I wish I got a counter for all of them, but he is a 2-4 now, and he has an ability that lets me give target creature life link. So I've got a frog and a merc lurker, uh, but like the purpose of my deck is supposed to be about evasion and drawing cards and getting flyers or unblockable creatures on the field. And I just have two dirtlers, and with the other two mana, I will just attach my rouge gloves to him. So he's a glove-wearing octopus creature. Uh, so does that mean he has eight different gloves? He just has one that he wears as a silly hat, and another one he keeps in his purse. That's cool. And I'm just kind of hoping he doesn't get any huge creatures soon. Uh, and if not, go Merc Lurker. Merc Lurker. And if someone's you know, offensive to him, he pulls it out with his tentacle and he slaps, he slaps him with him. the empty glove. This is my daughter, Merc Lurker. <laughs> How dare you, sir? Pass the turn to you. I do not want to attack with my frog. I value my frog. <laughs> I'm about to get beaten. Maybe the uh, the gods of magic, so look down upon you and have some mercy. Mm. Oh, wow, not a lot of mercy. All right, we are going to... How much does it cost four to equip this? So... So you could just equip it and then not attack. I could do that. That technically is an option that I have. I'm going to pay exists. four to equip this, which now gives him plus two, plus two, and trample. So he equipped his rhino. <laughs> now, unfortunate for you, this creature cannot be blocked by more than one creature. He equipped his rhino, which is a sentence that makes sense in magic. Hold on, I drooled. That is a bad thing to have with a creature this, as this, trample. It is bad, sad, bad. I was expecting him to equip it on his uh, uh, his shaman, so then he'd have two four fours, and he could just swing at me with both every turn. But instead, he's all in on a rhino. Yeah, uh, so I'm gonna say, and we're gonna attack for six. This rhino is doing great for me. I love this rhino. I right up there. I warmly accept your six damage. We're gonna win together. Now, for the purposes of this being an entertainment show, mm -hmm. where people are to see the joy of magic. Of course. I want you to know that if I have a bad turn coming up, <laughs> there's a chance that you can win after it, and you shouldn't. 
Okay, so let me just, before I tick this down, let me just say how important it is that you make misplays coming up. Lots of misplays. Yeah, that's really, that's critical. Yes, we are here to see you succeed and spell slingers succeed. Yeah. Definitely not to trample all over your face. <laughs> Ah, uh, Sean's jumping into the tank. That's nice. He's, he's gonna need to spend a lot of time thinking of how long it's gonna take for me to win. Mm. But you, you're running blue-black. Like, am. there are so many cards you can draw right now just to, to end my day. It could, that could be true, I think. I'm pretty sure that that could be the case. Okay. Is, is there anything else which you wish to do? Uh, no, 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 I'm good. So, go ahead. All right, I will play. Obnixilis Unshackled. Ah. Yeah, I did not want him to play Obnixilis. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a strong creature, but more importantly, whenever an opponent searches his or her library, uh -oh. I'm about to play a card that makes me search my library for the land that I need. That player sacrifices a creature and loses 10 life. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just why couldn't it have been one more turn away? <laughs> also, it says whenever another creature dies, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Obnixilis. I don't like that guy. Therefore, I will attack in my attack phase. So he's a 2-3. He's a 2-3. And he's a 2-4. So I can take the 4 damage. Is that the smart thing to do, though? So no one dies, he doesn't get any stronger. I'm going to take 4, bring me down to 12. Next turn, you can actually attack really strong with 4. Uh, so which will bring me down to 8, which will close up the gap. Yeah, I'm going to do it. All right, who are you going to block? Uh, I'm going to block him so you can't get any... Uh... No cards. Yeah. No cards are drawn. All right. All right. Combat damage resolves. I get a plus one, plus one counter because a dude did die. Yep. And my turn is done. Finn. All right, so what we can do is, hmm, we're gonna have to do this. Uh, I'm gonna tap five mana all together for Meteorite, which uh, when Meteorite enters the battlefield, it deals two damage to target creature or player. I'm gonna do two damage to you, sir. Okay, so I will. So I don't wanna kill any of your creatures. Except your two damage, I go to 10. And I could tap this to add one mana of any color to my mana pool. Wow, you are all the accelerations. Yeah, uh, attack phase. So you're a five five right now, right? Yes. Just flying. That's that's. I have a flying five five. Five. Well, I have a rhino, who's a six six. This is going to be a little tricky since I can't double block. I want to double block and double life link or something like that to stop his rhino. And he all doesn't right. care about and your it. Has five, trample five, five. too, and right? Trample. I think you should block. I cannot block. I will let it through. I will go to four. Now I, I'm under the assumption that you don't have two lightning bolts, that you just have a lightning bolt. Hmm. That's a, it's a strong assumption, because I would have already taken you out, possibly. I don't know. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let the suspense grow. You may go. How much life do you have? I currently have 16 life. And I'm at four. Yeah, let me just, let's focus on that. You have four life. I have 16 life. I have four mm. times as much life as you. You... You don't want to lose all your life. Poor Sean, he's at four life, I'm at 16. I got Trample out on the field, he's got small creatures. You, you can't stop this, I'm gonna win. It's a fast game. See, I want you to do good, I don't want you to do too good. No, that's right, no, that, the, we want that for the show as well. Yes. We want me to nearly succeed. I like a good fight. We like try-fail cycles. <laughs> so I'm in kind of a tricky spot, because normally I could just play some creatures and chump block and continue to pump Obnixilis, but in this spot, he has trample and probably a lot of direct damage spells or buffs. So what I'm going to do is instead swing with everything. As much as I love my Elvish Mystic, I'm going to block okay. this guy so that you don't get... I don't need you to get any more cards in your hand. And then I can play Feast on the Fallen to put a plus one, plus one counter on Obnixilis. So it's at the beginning of each upkeep, if an opponent lost life last turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Ooh. And then I'll have enough to both block his Rhino and I can use lifelink. So I'm going to do that. Ooh, because I did lose life. I am now ending my turn, and this will pump me to a plus three, plus three. So it is now seven, seven, flying trample. So he's a seven, seven. He is a seven, seven. He's a seven, seven. He's a seven, seven. He's a seven, seven. He has two sevens next to each other with a slash with between. A slash. Oh, I'm sorry, I got excited. <laughs> cool. I admit, I might get a little ballsy this turn. If, I like no, if you have Plummet, that's just going to be the biggest blowout. <laughs> Plummet says destroy target creature with flying. And sometimes it even says gain two life. <laughs> okay, what I need to do is I need to dodge a big haste creature or a Plummet. One, two, okay. mountain. Okay. And three forests. There are a number of spells in this set that deal five damage to a player. 
I have four life, so really the only way that I can win is if he doesn't draw those and if I can get my lifelink going. If you just have a spell that says deal five <laughs> damage target player. Wait, do you have a hand axe? I don't have hand axe. Okay, what do you have? But I do have a haster. Wait, what does this say? What? No! Oh, man! Okay. Thundering Giant. It was a big haster. Sorry, I freaked out. I lost. Ah! Four three with haste. Okay. I'm constantly leaving one mana open so I can use his Ranger Skyle, which is gonna give me Hexproof, and it's gonna protect one of my creatures if he tries to do a spell to it. Now keep in mind, he's playing black-blue. There's a lot of target spells, and I don't want to lose one of my creatures. It's my ace in the hole. I Ru roughly speaking, my play is to lifelink myself yes. back into the game. Now's the time. I'm gonna bait him with my 6-6, six, six, so he blocks with the 7-7, seven, seven, get that plus one, plus one from the Ranger Skyle, and boom! Kill the demon. Attack phase. Okay. I'm going to swing at you. I'm going to first Declare blockers. Now there's an order to declare blockers, so mm -hmm. I declare blockers. Okay. Okay. In response to your block, now right. you are a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yes. I'm a 6-6. Six, six. I'm not gonna kill you yet. So he swings with his 6-6 six, six, and I block with my 7-7. Seven, seven. Unless I play this Ranger's Guile I've been holding on to for a what while. What does it say? What does it say? But then he pumps his Rhino. <laughs> Target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains Hexproof until end of turn. So I, too, am a 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. So you're gonna lose a you're gonna lose a demon there. Okay, okay, this is okay. This is okay. If that's what you're gonna do, that's I'm now going to, in response to that, play lifelink. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Uh, he can give lifelink to anyone. He just gained a lot of health. And I'm going to give it minus one, minus no! one. No, 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 Okay, and I am unfortunately losing my right, but you did good. Now I've lost a big creature, but he's lost a big creature. I, I started off really strong, and I, I feel the tides of war change into his favor, but I think I can come back. I think I can do this. Okay, and, and then I'm going to gain seven and then promptly lose four. Yes. Which means that I will go to seven. That was a lot of fun. It was close. That was a lot of fun. It was good. Remember. That was a that was a tough moment. What was gonna happen? I was juicy when I was like, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna give minus one. He's like, no, and I'm like, that's how you are. <laughs> if you need to know how to be a jerk in this game, there's That's always a chance. That's why we like you. You may go, sir. All right. So I'm going to play Typhoid Rats, which is a 1-1 with Death Touch. Did I want to do that? You know, I didn't want to do that. I think I wanted to make the attack first. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to do the attack. I'm not going to do Take Backsies right yet. I'm going to do the attack, or I'm going to attack with my Ajorabai Merclarker. I'm going to block with my, my equipment. I can't do that. <laughs> so I'm going to take the two damage. All right, and I will draw... See, what's it feel like, huh? What's is, it feel like? Is it the end of the turn? It's just... Equip. Okay. Whenever equipped thing deals damage. Okay, so I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. So it's the beginning of upkeep for you. And yes. you're gonna untap, and I gotta decide who do I want to add the 1-1 one, one counter to. I think I wanna put it on my rats. All right. So okay. I'm untapping. Two mountain and four to put down Miner's Bane. So I lost my Rhino, but now I've got the Miner's Bane. Now this guy's big, he's strong, and he can pump up and get trampled. That is a mean, scary combination. I'm gonna attack. With him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'll block. Okay. Straight up. That's fine. Okay. And I'm also going to pay two to make it a lifelink. I really don't like you having yeah. that card. I'm so thrilled I, I have this card. I don't want that card here anymore. Thanks, deck builder. Yeah, that's a problem now. Stop gaining life. Dude, okay, so it, if you're playing against someone with lifelink, it's like when you've paid your taxes and you get a letter that's like, you actually owe us another $8. So you like write the check <laughs> for $8 and they're like, there was interest on that, so you owe us three cents, right? You, it's never over. It, it's never done. It just never keeps over. going. I miss my rhino. He was, he was a dope rhino, man. He was cool. You may go. All right. Look, I'm gonna play Stormtide Leviathan. Don't even care about Bub's VD. Dude, no, I was, I, was, <laughs> I, was, I was counting small numbers. So Magic's been around for years and years, and they have reprints, and I thought that this Leviathan was a reprint of another huge Leviathan from long ago. So I thought I roughly knew the card. He is an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, eight. no. So I'm reading the card out loud just to be a good host. 8-8 eight, eight with Island Walk, and all lands are islands in addition to their other What? Teams. And then I hit the last line, and it says, creatures without flying or Island Walk can't attack. Holy <laughs> that card is a bomb. Island Walk means that if I attack and you have an island, you can't block. I just get to walk straight to your face. Oh man, oh my god. I, I felt completely surprised and delightedly guilty because I, I basically just immediately won the game. All right, pass the turn to you. <laughs> All right, nice. I 
Didn't realize that that last line of text existed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're gonna put down the carnivorous moss beasts. Uh, but he does not have flying. I Dude, cannot. I, I can't believe how insane this card is. 8 8 Leviathan. Okay. <sighs> that is amazing. It's okay. I, there's, there's red in here. There's root in here, there's, there's card destruction. There's destruction and destroying things. Island walk, fantastic. Maybe I'll attack now. And creatures without island walk or flying can't attack. That's how you lose a game. There's nothing I can do, my friend, so it is your move. All right, untapping. I'm attacking with the Stormtide Leviathan. Yes. And I will tap two to give it lifeline. No! Stormtide Leviathan says that all lands become islands in addition to their other types. So he's unblockable. Just fantastic. Here, island walk, so I'll take that eight damage. I will gain eight life and go to 17. Uh, I'm now at four life, he's now at 17 life, when just two minutes ago, I was at 16 and he was at four. If I had a table, I would turn it right now. Let me paint you a picture. Oh. I have four life, you have 17 life. You are more than four times the amount of life I have. <laughs> well, I pass the turn to you. Uh, I'm gonna use my Feast on Fallen also to put a plus one, plus one counter on Jorobai, Merc Lurker. I need a card to save me. I need a card to save me. One card! What is that? Is it, is it Destroy Target Leviathan? Not this one. No, it's an Elvish Mystic, and it is not the card I needed. <laughs> <laughs> you tried. Let's see, two, four, five, six. I, you know, it can give him a little bit of hope, but remember, I'm playing with blue. Now I can play this card. Oh, now well, that you don't have a creature out that's telling me that I can't. I'm what? Negate. Really? <laughs> Really? <laughs> why? Just why? Give a little bit of hope, maybe you can play some land. Just rip out his heart. Hey, let me have this. Let me have this one card. <laughs> I'm going Take to Take my negate. <laughs> That's your card now. Negate. Oh, man. The classic blue, the counter spell, the thing that makes me despise playing against blue players. We got to do with blue today. Negate. Well played. Uh, it is your you, turn. All right, I'm gonna untap. What would you like to do I'm on your turn? I'm gonna untap, I'm gonna untap. Would you I'm like to draw? Not and, attack on your turn? I'm going to play another Feast of the Fallen, and then I'm going to, this guy can attack. I'm attacking with him. The, uh, the guy with Island Walk. Yeah. Great damage. Yeah, let me get, let me get your sorcery back for you. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, uh, that is the defeat right there. This was a great matchup. I had him in the beginning, and Sean was going down, but then he dropped that Leviathan and literally just changed the tides of everything. Tell me I got Oh close. my god, you were at four, and I was like, we're gonna be done playing in like 10 minutes. I was like, oh, well, this was kind of short. We're gonna have to oh, well. stretch that out. And then the lifelink. It was a good matchup, though. Like, I'm not mad. I I'm not even mad. That was impressive. That was impressive. Good, well played, oh, sir. Well played game, Mr. Well Ocean. played. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Spell Slingers. Definitely check out Jovenshire at youtube.com slash smoshgames. And next time you are playing with a deck you've never seen, remember, all you need to do is draw your bombs. Cheers! Cheers.